Finger on the trigger. Okay. Sure recording or taking pictures. Okay. So. Both. Okay. This is recording, and if I push the button, it's uh, taking a picture. Fancy. Yeah. They're the same as uh, in, the, in the park? In the, um... Yeah, uh, well some of them. Um, in the park we also have caiman. Uh, they're related to alligators, but slightly different species. Uh, at, the, at, the, at the restaurant, the pool. Those front. were alligators, yeah. yes. American alligators. Yeah. Uh, they were trained to eat. They are not uh, uh, used to uh, chicken. Uh... Um, alligators are very picky about when they eat. Yeah. Basically, they like to eat when it's warmer. Okay. The only way they can digest is if their body is actually warm enough. So with okay. cooler nights, early in the morning, but, it's a lot harder for them to eat if their body hasn't warmed up yet. But when they are done with eating, they yeah. go to the water. Yeah. The water is cool, I think. Or is the water, the water warmer? The water recirculates, so it uh, all depends. Depending yeah. on which water they actually have turned on, it does recirculate sometimes, which means it's flowing yeah. at a constant temperature, so it is a little warmer. Oh, okay. Uh, but also going into the water means they can get the water, they can swallow it to help them drink, to help wash down the food. Yeah. Special. Oh no, it's bumpy. It is bumpy, so hold on. Hold on. Did you fill it up with stones? Yeah, and you uh, don't, rocks, don't, you don't go deeper, right? Because, uh, Sometimes it starts to wash away and they'll yeah. kind of dump more in if yeah. you keep it somewhat level. Yeah. 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 Get uh, the small ones get eaten by the small ones could get eaten by panthers, yeah. uh, bobcats, coyotes, things like that. Are there panthers in here also? We do have panthers. Uh, we see them every once in a while, uh, not fairly often. They come out more at night time, so yeah. unless we're out at night. Uh, so this, uh, when I was sleeping in my car, it that could, could have be... been one of the parking lots. Yeah. Uh, there actually is a male out here because we've got the female that's right next to the parking lot. That enclosure over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she was sleeping well, maybe uh, in the midday that yeah. she saw. There are big birds, so I don't know what it is, but... Those are sand cranes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they have a 
they are rare? Um, they're not rare. They're fairly common here in Florida, depending on where you're at. Mm -hmm. um, some of them do actually live here. Some of them do migrate from a little farther north. Okay. Um, always found in pairs because they are monogamous, so they will mate for life. So this is a mating pair. Yeah. Pop ash pond. 
pop ash pond is always the lowest area inside of a hammock like this. So it's your first area that starts filling up during the rainy season and it'll be the last area to start drying out. A lot of times, even during the dry season, it doesn't really fully dry out. What you get at the bottom is just this really thick muck. Um, yeah. Animals like alligators will come in, they roll around in the muck, brings water to the surface, and creates a watering hole for the other animals out here. Mm. So. When is the rain season? Pretty much, it starts in about June, it runs through about November. Okay. So pretty much all size with hurricane season. Depending on how much rain we get during a rainy season, we'll determine just how much water we get out here uh, and how long it lasts. Some years we get so much rain that even this time of year we're still completely underwater out here. And now you close the park or? Uh, nope. Oh. We still run through the area when it's full of water. Okay. Makes it that much more fun. Yeah. <laughs> like back in the days when they were down here in the Everglades hiding from the government. The government was rounding up Native Americans, sending them all out west. So they went into hiding. They would build these small little, basically just campsites for their family. Um, each hut is called a chiki. Chiki basically just means my house or my home. Um, different chikis had different functions. The one behind us there is the bedroom. Mm -hmm. That raised platform is the bed. That's what they sleep. Uh, that's what they slept on. Kept the bed elevated during the peak of rainy season. That way water didn't come up. Um, you know, blood bed didn't get flooded out. Cooked a key here next to us. Always had to be at the highest point that they could find because the fire pit was directly on the ground, so you don't want your fire getting washed out, getting wet or anything. Down in the ground, you've got the natural aquifer. It did actually produce water. That rock around it is limestone. Limestone is a very porous rock, so as that hole filled up with water, the rock would actually filter it out naturally. So that's where they got all their clean water from. Uh, you've got your corn pounder, which is the stick or the stump with a stick coming out of it. They grind up corn, things like cattail to make foods. Mm -hmm. Also, your dugout canoe, made from cypress trees. Um, pretty much all of the trees that you went through on the airboat were all cypress trees. Uh, but it's a very hard, very durable wood. Also floats very well in water, which is why they would use it to make their canoes. Yeah. And canoes, on average, took anywhere from about a year, year and a half, sometimes upwards of three years to actually carve out. It's a very, very time-consuming process. Yeah. This is essentially what they stayed in basically while hiding from the government, so yeah. hiding from soldiers and everything else. Okay. However, oranges don't actually come from Florida. They're not native here. They come from China. China. Brought here by the settlers. They're brought by the Spanish. Now Florida's known for them, but not originally from China.
Oh, bouncy. <laughs> All right. It, it was good.
Is there food on? There might be. Um, just as we drive through here, the tires kick up a lot okay. of stuff underneath there, so there might be some. Food. So nothing on purpose uh, nope. to. Uh, no, uh. they're just got very small brains. They're easily distracted. You know, they like to pick at everything. Hmm. Or maybe I just picked them there. No. <laughs> toenails that they have on each foot, on each foot, um, they'll actually use those again in self-defense. There's been documents or cases over in Africa of an ostrich basically kicking and disemboweling a lion just with one kick. Um, so that's how powerful their feet are and that's how deadly those nails can be. Vegas is coming. <laughs> Maybe we can all three on it. Maybe. Not yet. And yeah, they are on it. Oh. <laughs> and he is <laughs> big. It is on the picture. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That was a uh, half a liter. liter. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. So both of these are males. Males have black feathers. Females more of a grayish brown feather. Mm. That way when they're sitting on the nest, it's easier for them to camouflage. Yeah. Okay. is a male meal guy. That's where the name meal guy actually comes from. The word meal guy literally translated means blue cow or blue bull. The males turn that bluish gray color once they hit maturity. Yeah. Females stay the golden brown color like those um, through, their, through their entire lives. But the males change color with the that name. Okay.
Oh yeah.
out there, all that grain gets put out first thing in the morning on a daily basis. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's in the morning, so they can eat throughout the day as they can. 